Hey guys, Philly Boy J back here with another video and here we have three large size sweet potatoes. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make sweet potato pie. <laughs> sweet potato pie is something that a lot of families love to eat as a dessert after a Thanksgiving meal and sweet potato pie is one of the desserts that people commonly eat around this time of year. It's the holiday season, it's Thanksgiving time, so a lot of people are either going to the store and buying them some sweet potato pie or they making it from scratch, okay? And this month, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make foods that people commonly make for Thanksgiving, like cornbread dressing and turkey, of course. Maybe do a ham video, collard greens, and peach cobbler. You want to chop these up, and the reason that you're going to chop them up is because I find that when you chop them up, they boil you quicker and they get tender quicker. You want to get a big pot, fill it up with water, and we're going to boil you these sweet potatoes on medium heat for an hour. Yes, guys, an hour. You want these to be as tender and soft as possible. I find that when I boil you the sweet potatoes and I take them out too early, they have lumps in them when I'm mixing the ingredients together. So I just recommend that you allow these bad boys to sit in that hot scorching water for about an hour. 55 minutes should be the minimum amount of time that you allow them to cook. Okay? So we're going to boil you these bad boys. Just look at them floating around in that hot water. They just floating in that hot water. We want them to be nice and tender. So we want to let these go. Let them go for 55 to 60 minutes. And then after they are nice and tender, we're going to take them out and let them cool off. Meanwhile, while these are boiling, we're going to go and talk about the other ingredients that you're going to need to make your sweet potato pie. And this is the best sweet potato pie in the whole wide world. The best recipe in the whole wide world. You want to need some salt. Salt is basically a flavor enhancer. It makes whatever flavor you're going for stronger. You want to need some lemon juice that just basically balances out the sweet taste just to give it a little tangy taste, slight tangy taste, okay? Because you don't want it to be too, too sweet. You're going to need some light corn syrup and you're going to need some vanilla extract. I'm using imitation. I don't got the real kind of day, folks. So don't kill me. Don't hurt me. You're going to need some ground nutmeg season, and you're going to need some cinnamon season, okay? This is not the only thing that we're going to be putting in our sweet potato pie. You're going to also need some sugar, some flour, some butter, some eggs, and some carnation milk. You can make your own pie crust if you like, but I just prefer getting the pie crust from the store. I think it tastes better, okay? Um, but if you want to make it from scratch, which I, I know how to make it myself, I just don't like the taste. Um, I just And I think that it's easier to just go to the store and get your own pie crust. I mean, it tastes better, guys. It really do to me. Um, but yeah, you're going to need some melted butter. Okay, and make sure you get three large eggs. Okay, and there we have all purpose flour. That's all purpose flour right there. Okay, make sure that the flour is not seasoned flour that you got in a bag that you used to make your chicken the night before. Make sure it's brand new flour, folks. Okay, I shouldn't have to tell you this, but some people do some dumb stuff. Okay, so here are our sweet potatoes. They are really tender, and I'm going to let you guys know how you can tell if your sweet potatoes are really, really tender. You can stick a fork or a knife into it like that, and it just slides easily off the fork or knife. Look at that. It just falls right off. Look at that. That means that they are extremely tender. Okay, and that's the way we want them to be because we want them to smash up easily. Okay, we want to be able to smash them up easily and get it nice and smooth. And if they're not really tender, you can't do that. So we're going to place these hot bad boys on the side and we're going to allow them to cool off. You can actually put them in a bowl and run some cool water on them if you like. That'll speed up the cooling process. But you're going to sit these to the side and allow these bad boys to cool off for about, I'll say, 30, 40 minutes. Okay, that should be enough. I would recommend that you put it inside a bowl 
and run some cool water on there speed up the process or set them in the freezer okay so now they're kind of a little cooler I didn't wait that long so I was trying to get this video over with and eat this sweet potato pie but we're going to peel them okay and then after you peel them what you're going to do is you're going to get a really big bowl a really big mixing bowl that's my infamous red mixing bowl y'all see that in pretty much all of my videos <laughs> I use the same big mixing bowl I gotta get a new mixing bowl folks but as you can see you can see the little heat coming from the sweet potatoes don't they look so orange and so beautiful and so pretty they just look so pretty okay so we're gonna add all of our peeled sweet potatoes to this bowl and we're getting ready to smash these bad boys. We're going to smash them up. Okay. And you're going to see why boiling them for an hour is so important. Because it just makes them really smashable. <laughs> it makes them easily smashable. Okay. So as you can see I'm smashing them up now. What I like to do is smash them up first before I blend them. Okay. I like to get them nice and soft and smashed up first before I blend it okay so you're gonna smash them up and it may not look like a lot but once you add all of the ingredients that's gonna make it stretch out okay it's gonna stretch the sweet potatoes okay so you wanna smash them up like that smash them up as much as possible and now what we're gonna do is we're going to add our seasons and our ingredients they look so beautiful those are some nice healthy sweet potatoes you want to add one and one fourth stick of melted butter yes you can use margarine if you want I recommend butter okay you're going to go ahead and you're going to add one cup of white or brown sugar yes you can use brown sugar brown sugar just gives it more of a molasses flavor and now what you're going to do is you're going to add a half a cup of carnation milk a half a cup of carnation milk you're going to add your three large sized eggs okay and you're gonna add your two tablespoons of vanilla extract I would recommend that you go out and get the real kind I'm cheap I got the ghetto imitation ash right <laughs> you want to add your three tablespoons of light corn syrup okay if you don't have any light corn syrup and you have some honey in the house you can use some honey if you have some molasses in the house you can use some molasses don't use molasses if you have uh, uh, brown sugar you added brown sugar that's lemon juice you're gonna add two tablespoons of lemon juice okay you're gonna add one teaspoon of nutmeg now if you want to add more nutmeg you can do so but a lot of people seem to have a problem with nutmeg they don't like too much nutmeg in their sweet potato pie I know a lot of people don't like that you want to add one tablespoon of salt okay that's basically a flavor enhancer you're going to add one tablespoon of cinnamon okay and you know to thicken this up a lot of people don't use all-purpose flour but I put flour in my sweet potato pie just to thicken it up a little okay especially if it's a little too wet okay so you're going to add the flour and now you're going to blend these ingredients together look at that you're going to start off by blending it on low speed you're going to blend it on low speed for about two minutes and then on high speed for about one minute okay so start off blending this on low speed you want to make sure that all of the ingredients are well blended we added that three eggs to that so you want to make sure that those eggs are well blended you can beat your eggs up before adding them to the sweet potatoes if you want but I like to do it this way okay and I like to blend mine for five minutes only because I think that the longer that you blend it the more that the egg allows the sweet potatoes to kind of puff up okay so that's why I do it that way okay guys so let's focus on the pie crust 
as I said earlier, you can make your own pie crust or you can go to the store and buy you some 9 inch pans of pie crust, the pans with the pie crust already in it. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use both pie crust to make my sweet potato pie. Okay, I'm going to add the first pie crust to it. Okay, and what I'm basically doing is stretching it out so that I can create the top crust you know the crust on the side of the pie so that's what I'm doing basically stretching it out and pulling it up and over the baking pan and because when you bake this this kind of sinks down into the baking pan I'm going to add another row of pie crust y'all didn't see me do that but as you can see it looks much thicker here okay so I'm pressing that all around Pressing it down, pressing it hard, making sure it's all around. And as you can see on that side of the pan, um, the top is kind of light because you can kind of see the color see through it. So what I'm going to do to thicken that up because I want to make sure that the crust is even all around the pie is I'm going to pull some crust off this end here. Just some excess crust, pie crust, and I'm going to put it on that side. Okay, because I wanted to make, make sure it's even all around. Alright. And what some people do is some people actually bake this for like 15 minutes so it can get a little um, crunchy before they add the sweet potatoes to it. I'm not going to do that though. I don't like mine's crunchy and hard. So what you're going to do at this time is you're going to preheat your oven at 350 degrees. Let it get hot for 10 minutes. You want to make sure that the oven is hot for a little while before we add this. And now we're going to pour the sweet potatoes that we blended earlier into the pan of pie crust. Okay. Mm, 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 that look real good. So you're going to pour that in there. Mm, 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 mm. And like I said, guys, make sure, you know, you give it a taste test and make sure that the sweet potatoes um, fit your taste buds. Make sure it tastes the way you want it to taste because of course when you bake this you ain't going to be able to take it back out and add any ingredients. So make sure that you got the amount of sugar that you want. Um, the amounts that I told you to use is basically a starting point. Just want to give you guys a starting point and um, you know basically just tell you the standard amounts to use. This is my my recipe by the way. Okay, but if you want to add a little more of this or a little less of that, then you can do so. Okay, but the measurements that I told you to use is the measurements that I feel everybody would kind of like. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to just spread that all out. Spread that all out. Okay, make sure that it's nice and smooth at the top. I don't have one of those little things where you can... Uh, smooth it out nice and evenly at the top I forgot what they call them um so i just did it with my spoon okay and that's the way it look you want to bake this on 350 degrees for about 45 minutes and here is the final result look at that guys that sweet potato pie look bumping. Homemade sweet potato pie. This is something that a lot of people make for Thanksgiving, as I said. So I had to make sure that I done this video for you guys. Okay, I had a lot of subscribers requesting that I do a sweet potato pie video. So I had to make sure that I do one for you guys. But this is the way it looked. This is the final result. It looks really, really good. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to allow this to sit. Okay, because it's still hot. You want to allow it to sit for about an hour. Okay, then you're going to add it to your refrigerator and let it sit in your refrigerator for about another two to three hours just to allow the sweet potatoes to stiffen up before cutting it. Okay, you don't want it to be really soupy. And now I'm going to cut this for you guys. Get my infamous ghetto white paper plate. And that's the way it looks, guys. That's the way the sweet potato pie looks. Absolutely delicious. It came out really, really good. I really loved it. Give it a shot. 
try my recipe out try to use the exact measurements that I told you to use like I said you can always when doing a, a recipe um, deviate from the measurements and the standards it's all about preference you know some people like a lot of lemon juice in their sweet potato pie um, some people like a lot of nutmeg some people like a lot of cinnamon some people don't so it all depends on your taste buds that's why I told you guys to make sure that you give it a taste test before putting it in the oven and baking it but that's the way it looks look really really good mm, 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 mm. that looks really really good I love sweet potato pie okay so that's the way it looks and they go my pan right there I'll probably eat half of this tonight because this looks too good okay and also guys what a lot of people like to do is a lot of people like to when making sweet potato pie they like to add some ice cream to it okay or some whipped cream and that's what I'm going to add add a little bit of whipped cream on top of that makes it look so beautiful don't I just had to add the whipped cream for decoration purposes and because I like the way whipped cream tastes with my sweet potato pie but that's the recipe guys I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys try the recipe out um try to stick with the measurements that I gave you I think you guys would really really like it and um good luck hope you enjoy peace